But what I've got here, I've got a meeting that was transcribed. It was recorded and transcribed. I've actually got the ability to see who the speakers are. This is something called uh, Intelligent Recap. And um, previously, this is only available with Teams Premium. So you need to get Teams Premium and a Copilot license to so get this same functionality. But what I've got here is I've got a summary of who the speakers are, who actually spoke within this meeting, how many times have I been mentioned personally? Obviously, Faye's been trying to get my attention quite a lot because she's, as she said my name five times. And then what tasks does it believe that I need to pick up off the back of this? Rather than having to go into that chat window, which we'll see in a little bit, where I'll well, see in a, in a short while, where I'll show you, you know, the, the, the recap functions within the, that transcript, I can get a high level overview. So if I am not able to attend the meeting, I can see, all right, there was four speakers, I was mentioned four times. All of those four times, three of them are people putting up, me up for tasks that I need to, that I wasn't aware of. And here's, here are the three tasks. This is all something that we can do within the Teams meeting um, overview page now. Now, this is, like I said, this was a recent feature. This is a meeting that I had before that feature was released, so it's not going to do it retrospectively. If you've got a meeting that's already been in two months ago, you're not going to be able to go retrospectively and actually see all of that recap. It's going to be anything from now or from the point that it was integrated. But here I've got a conversation between me and one of my colleagues about a four-day working week. What I'm simply going to do is hit recap, and this is what I was saying earlier. What we've got the ability to do is hit recap and then hit Copilot at the top here. If I had that intelligent recap, if the meeting was recorded and transcribed, we would actually get a picture of the recording in the in the middle section here. So we'd get a picture of the recording here. We'd actually get who was the speakers. So who spoke? So Louis spoke for 99% of the time. Um, Harry spoke for 1% of the time. It would give us the breakdown. And what we would actually be able to do is actually spit, skip through to the part where that person has spoke. So again, intelligent recap is a is a really good feature that, that's all that's uh, just been added to Copart for Microsoft 365. What I'm going to do now is I'm not going to enter the prompts because I've already got the prompts already already put in. But I'm going to I'm going to talk you through some of the things that we can do with Copilot. So, in that intelligent recap, what we saw was a, a recap of who spoke, uh, how many times I've been mentioned, and um, what tasks it thinks that I should be picking up or should be picked off the off the back of it. If I've you know I wasn't able to attend that meeting, I then go into it. I see I've been mentioned fifteen times. I've then come into Call Part for Microsoft 365 chat. Uh, sorry, the 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 recap icon within within Teams, and actually ask it what was discussed in the meeting. I, obviously, I've got a high level overview of the name of the meeting, so this is a four day working week. But in this recap, you can see what was discussed in the meeting. It was about a proposal of a four day working week uh, within our our internal modern workplace team. I presented the benefits of a four day working week, but they was in, they was um, batted back by my colleague Harry with with the cons of the four day working week. Um, we've got different ways that we want it to be implemented and the way that it can be implemented. I've then got the connotation so I can see within the transcript whether I've actually said that or where someone else has said that that it's got the content from. So here we've got the three different the three different connotations where we can go straight to the straight to the transcript and see actually where where was this discussed again. AI generated content may be incorrect. So again, we can then double check it. We can triple check it, make sure it's got the correct understanding of, of the conversation that we had. Now, what I've now got is listing me a pro list, create me a list of pros and cons of the four day working week in a table. Now, this is a four day working week in a table, but let's say you wanted to do your, uh, the attendees, what their job role is, what, uh, what tasks are upon them and actually what the due date of them is, that those tasks are what we can do is we can simply ask it all of those different things ask it to put it in the table and it will create you a table full of that information now instead of doing that what i ask it to do is i ask it to just list me the action items it's created me a list of action items but it's only you know it's put louis on there it's not put a due date i don't know if a due date was discussed again we were able to ask it dynamically those questions about the transcript, about what's been spoken about within that Teams meeting, allowing me to be present. And that's the big thing. Yes, I'm talking about following a meeting if if I wasn't able to attend, but during the meeting, right now you could have the transcript on as, as Mark already has, and we can go back and we can ask it questions. We can ask what Louis discussed, what did Louis go over? It will understand the context of the conversation. We we'll, Again, we'll be able to ask those questions so we don't need to sit there and, and try and take notes and, and not have our full attention on the other person on on that teams meeting now currently this only does teams meetings but there is the ability coming for it to do psdn calls 
So if you've got teams calling, if you've got calling through your teams, through your teams, you'll actually be able to, as long as that transcript is on, as long as you're transcribing, you'll be able to go back through normal phone calls. Someone calling you from a mobile, you'll be able to, as long as it is recorded and transcribed, you'll be able to go in there and, and ask it questions and get extract information from there. So again, something that's coming on the horizon.